thousand miles up the Amazon, near the junction with one of its tributaries, is the city of Manaus, a principal shipping port for the whole vast region. Many ocean-going vessels come to Manaus. The city can only be reached by river. No roads lead away from Manaus in any direction. The city was a frontier trading post until a little more than 50 years ago, when the sudden demand for rubber brought great prosperity to the region. Profits from rubber soon made the frontier village into a busy, attractive city. Then, in less than 25 years, the prosperity of Manaus died away because rubber grown on plantations in Malaya and the Dutch East Indies could be produced more cheaply than wild rubber from the Amazon jungles. In spite of this, Manaus is still a busy port. It is the center of an enormous region, the place where the products of the Amazon basin are collected and shipped away in exchange for the products of other lands. In addition to balls of rubber, tropical woods, nuts, jute, and cacao are exported as well as less familiar forest products such as the fiber of jungle vines used for making rope and brooms. Overhead cables carry freight to and from the ships which are moored to floating docks in the river. Stationary piers cannot be used because the level of the river rises and falls nearly 50 feet between the dry and the wet seasons. Below Manaus, the Amazon, growing wider all the time, flows almost a thousand miles to the Atlantic Ocean. The people who live along the banks of this great South American river face many hardships. Their soil is poor, there are many difficulties in transportation, and the climate is unhealthy throughout the vast tropical lowland of northern Brazil. Hello. 